In this video, I'm going to show you how you can post and participate in the discussion tool for your course. Remember that your teacher is going to give you details about which discussions that you want to post to. So have a look in the announcements to find more details about that. And you might have information in there. For example, we have this particular teacher is asking um, for information about yourself and they have a particular link that's bringing you to tools on the site. So that's important to take a look at that and make sure that you check to see if they want you to do a particular discussion and if they might have a link to it already in the announcements area. You can also get to any discussions that your teacher wants you to do by going to the discussions tool across the top. When I enter into the discussions tool area, I will see a whole bunch of discussions. And it's important for you to remember that you want to do only the discussions that your teacher is asking you to do. And so your teacher in this particular case, for this Amber case, uh, the teacher is asking you to do a bit of reading and they're giving you some directions on your information. Discussions can only be open and may close for typing at a certain point. So it will be important to look at the details on it. And if a discussion is going to close, then details about that will show up in the calendar. So in this particular example, I'm going to click on the actual blue of the discussion to get a full view of it. And if I would like to be able to access this at any time, I can click on the star and it will send me notifications if I have that set up anytime that there's new stuff coming. When I'm ready to do my first post, I will click on start a new thread. And I will enter any thoughts that I have. This is a text editor. So you can, of course, do different size and bullets and all of that. And you do have a spell checker down here. You are totally welcome to copy and paste from another text editor, such as a Google Doc or Word. And you can attach files, but check with your teacher to make sure that they do want you to attach files or not. And then you can go ahead and post. For this particular discussion uh, that I'm just posting to right now, I note here that you have to post before you can see other people's in the class. So that might be something that you want to have a look at. In some cases, you won't need to, to do a post. And you will notice that you also have some options if you have posted. You have options to edit it if you want to make changes. You can mark posts as read or unread. You can copy it. Maybe you put it in the wrong spot you can print it out. And if you decided that you made a mistake, um, then you can, of course, you can delete the thread. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the thread. Your teacher may also ask you to reply and replying is very similar. Just look for replying to a particular thread or reply to posts and you'll be able to do that. Now, another area where you might be able to get into discussions is through the content. So I'm just looking through some content that is content that came from the Ministry of Education. And I noticed that for this particular one in the action part, there is a section where it asks you to post to the discussion area. Um, actually, it looks like it's in it's in the consolidation part. It's asking you to post a discussion area and it's giving you some information about what it's looking for. And it has a spot for you to join the discussion. So you can click on the button to join the discussion. Now, should you be doing this, join the discussion about social change events? I really don't know. It's so important for you always to figure out what your teacher wants you to do, to always go back to your page and look in your course home area under announcements and find out if your teacher has asked you to look through a particular discussion. If not, then it will be important to you know maybe not do that. There's a whole bunch of discussions. Your teacher might also assign it so that a discussion will open and close and then you will notice that there is a due date or information about a discussion closing in the calendar.
Generally for Waterloo Catholic District School Board, we ask our teachers to post information about discussions and when they're due to make sure that that information is clear in the announcement area for you. So accessing your discussions could be a link in your announcements, could be directly through the discussion tool, or it might be taking a look through content where you are asked to join the discussion or to post through to the discussion.